that much better. Oh. Hi, everybody. Hello, testing. Turn this down. Testing, testing. Well, we're just not. <sighs> testing, testing. Maximum. Okay. Let's go to. It's, it's saying the sound's going, so go ahead and start talking. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Here we go again. We'll keep saying it. Happy birthday to Diane Ruschik. It's her birthday today. We're going to head over to Molly Kate's for her Titanic-themed lunch. Diane, if you're watching this, forget it, because it was supposed to be your surprise. But right there on the boulevard, Molly Kate's, Karen Eskew, is doing a Titanic-themed lunch. Um, you can either have the light lunch or the full lunch, the high tea. And we're going to enjoy her gourmet, delectable food production scones and soups and sandwiches and pastries. And then mm. she surrounds all of her delectables with very fascinating product. And so as you're sitting and visiting in just this cozy, intimate environment, then you get to just look around at the fascinating trinkets that she surrounds herself with. Local Living has deals Local today. Living? What's going on with Local Living? By the way, thank you, Local Living. Uh, best kept secret, but it's becoming known very rapidly how to get these great deals. Things you wouldn't normally do or buy or get because of the money, but that's why you're doing it, to experience it now. And it's one way to build a community really well, the bones of the community, those that are impassioned and invigorated, especially after the age of 50, young love after 50, healthy, wealthy, and wise is... If we have our health, then we automatically have our wealth, and we exercise our wisdom, our intuition to navigate this course, holding on to our health and vitality. It can be a very um, unpredictable course, and knowledge is power. That's why we sit right here in the whole weedery, which has been my pharmacy and kitchen over 27 years. Cheryl has been right here off of 10th Street West, just south of Avenue J. It's where you'll find us on Thursday mornings, talking I Live Today AV, the different jewels that we find in the desert, educating one another with our options. We know we're wealthy when we have options. And um, we just want to grow each other well. Building a healing community. God heals the world two by two. It does. It does. Yes, he, she does. The divine force, that sacred, activated by the sacred yes, where we can really plug into the infinite resource of pure healing energy. It's that mutual feed we give to one another. And again, why it's such a delight to be right here in the middle of the whole weedery. This is their cafe, Naturals Cafe. It's opened at 1030 and uh, stays open throughout lunch and offering just healthy, delectable, alternative dishes that uh, fuel us very well. Shots of wheatgrass and um, whole grain breads and grocery items and home items. You can even get your adult beverages, wines and beers. It's just a wonderful place to come and wander and educate yourself with all of your options to keep yourself in the life of your dreams. I get a panicked phone call last night from Jim's, well, Jim received a panic phone call from his daughter, Melissa, last night because the one-year-old, the toddler, you know, they call him bouncing babies for a reason. He's toddling, and he toddled right over and hit his head hard, and she was so afraid that um, it was, you know, a severe head injury. There's a reason why they're so low to the ground. <laughs> the impact's not so severe, and anytime you get a bump on the head, it's a good... Um, the sign when it comes out into the goose egg because the goose egg is a sign that the swelling is protruding instead of it bleeding okay. internally. So the home care of eyes and the baby wasn't agreeing with having eyes on his forehead and 
You know, you do get a little whiplash in there. He could have a headache from it. And she had put him in the bath, which was soothing him, and then called her dad. Isn't that sweet? And then her dad passed the phone to me. <laughs> well, yeah. And, and so you have some products here from our pharmacy, the whole eatery, about this kind of coverage? You learn these things along the way. You know, first reclaiming your own health. I started, I aligned myself with a holistic chiropractor in Urbana, Illinois, Dr. Sandra Schwartz. And I was newly married. Um, my husband was going to the University of Illinois as a student. And I was, he was working part-time and I was striving to work full-time right there in Champaign, Urbana, Illinois. And after several months of trying to find, first of all, work, it was very difficult during the early 80s to find work in a college town. You had to beat the pavement a lot, just like I think we are, we're asked to do today. You have to really show um, that you're wanting to be a part of the productive society, which means you get out and you pound the pavement <laughs> and you just find where you can fit and where your contributions are valued and then begin the journey one day at a time. So Dr. Sandra Schwartz um, saw that I touched very easily. I'm from a very large family in the South, so five <laughs> daughters were sharing one bedroom growing up. And you just learn how to get along when you're a family of 10 in a three-bedroom house, one bathroom especially. <laughs> it was the one bathroom where you really had to work with your, <laughs> and coexist with your fellow people. And so I do. I, I didn't recognize it myself, but I'm highly sensitive, highly intuitive. And for 32 years, I've been growing in to this experience that I've that I'm participating in on the planet Earth. And through the years, I've chosen, I've recognized that we spend our money one way or another. I'm either going to spend my money in the allopathic Western medicine protocol, which is all about tests and x-rays and pharmaceuticals, um, and there's benefit in that, absolutely. Um, however, I wanted to spend my money in the way that would um, build me from the inside, reclaim my immune system, right the toxicity that inhabits the body. Being raised in the deep south, and it was heavy pesticides with mosquito abatement. And as children, we would run behind the mosquito truck. It was like lost in space. It was a fog. And if you got really close to the tailpipe, <laughs> then you could be invisible. And I was a fast little southern chick, barefooted, and I would get all the way. And I know I just sucked in a lot of pesticides and herbicides that were being used in the Deep South during that time. So it's been a 53-year journey of reclaiming all of this real estate that I walk around in. And as I have discovered and empowered and wept and just genuinely chosen to participate in my own healing, what has happened is there's this community um, that we all resonate this way. And I've discovered this in the Antelope Valley. And I believe every community has this healing community where we really plug our heart into one another, support one another, want to know each other and what our passions are, how we choose to live our life, how I uniquely define success, how I see success. And again, it's healthy, wealthy, and wise. Nothing to do with the bank. Everything to do with reminding myself that I have many options. And there's not one straight path. Where there's a lot of branches on the tree, and we get to go and expand our, our knowledge, our wisdom, and then become our own best friends. So this young mother, just mortified that her baby was wounded, as a young mother, mortified that my children would be injured beyond my control. I learned of something called, it's a Bach flower remedy. There's a whole body of healing titled um, Bach flower remedies. And this fellow named Bach studied um, flower essences and created these remedies, these home use remedies, very affordable. It comes in sprays or it comes in tinctures. A tincture is a few drops under your tongue. A spray would be under your tongue. 
So with children, whether it's a splinter or a scrape, a bump, for yourself, there's burns, you know, just all kinds of things, stings. When they are hysterical, it's so difficult to understand which direction to go in. So the first thing I carry, my tincture is in my wallet in my purse as I speak because we adults need to be rescued as well from the unpredictable traumas and tragedies of life. So I'm anticipating her purchasing that the rescue remedy for, it, it deeply arrives, it's, it's the surprise, it's the shock to the adrenal system that these, ah, what just happened? Whether it's a car accident, um, you know, anything, life is relentless with this unpredictable occurrences, situations, circumstances. And so as I have proceeded through it and have just continued to choose love and choose life, these little tools just are amazing how they help the family, help the family, the children, the parents, the grandparents. It's never ending how we can help each other in our recovery. Bogfire Remedies, rescue remedies. They also have a rescue sleep. I hear all the time, you know, of those that are having trouble getting their eight to 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> Teenagers don't seem to get have trouble getting their 12 to 14 hours of sleep, which is very good for them, by the way. Rest is the first four letters of restoration. So enhancing your sleeping time, um, trying to do it so that you're fully alert the next day and renewed so that you can step into a new day. There's a rescue sleep remedy that you could investigate. And there's also a rescue energy, a lot. I, I, I get approached about fatigue. You know, just the, it's just the adrenal glands become exhausted. And if they're exhausted long enough, it morphs into Addison's disease. So our adrenal glands, they sit right on top of our kidneys. They're two glands about the size of your thumbnail and they are the fight or flight pulsing the hormones, the stress hormones we hear about, the cortisol that gets buried in our stomachs. You know, that's the belly fat that we're educated to be alarmed of, and it's the stress hormone, and it's a way of trying to survive in the world when we're already overwhelmed and overloaded. And then it shows up in the form of burnout and fatigue. So it pleases me to know that there's a rescue remedy for energy and it says right on there natural fatigue remedy so what these alternative medicines do whether it's homeopathic herbal tiger balm is an herbal approach to muscle injury and sprains and strains anyone who knows me that's usually the aroma I'm surrounded in is tiger balm and the bog flower and then homeopathy arnica is just the backbone of homeopathy for muscle sprains and injury so when you've had a bump, um, if you just reach, there's a spray of arnica. You, if it's too tender to touch, you can spray it. Um, you can massage arnica gel and massage it. And you will see, you will witness the bruising. It diminish within, oh, it just starts to diminish. And then it's fully through the yellowing cycle and the healing cycle within two to three days. It's just miraculous how effective our bodies are and how they can be just rebound better than before if we give it good proper support to restore water is another one you know the putting the baby in the bath so he can just get that high level of emotion just oh ah! so if you put yourself in the water give yourself a little rescue remedy it's just amazing how you will feel secure in your own being and then the clarity to proceed with the next step. Her fear is, was, hopefully, should we go to the hospital? And the hospital is there. That's great assurance that we have the hospital there. However, a lot of times, most of the time, it's the home care where the healing is most potent. So that's why we don't want to be so rushed to take it out of the home care healing situation. I'm gonna have some cappuccino. Well, it's great, and you know, did you talk about what happened to me and <laughs> and, and what you're doing to me? <laughs> Not that. I found a bathing suit last summer's bathing suit. 
and that Jim fried his body in. I'm sure there's many that remembered how sunburnt he got. <laughs> and wasn't it Father's Day last year? <laughs> and and we both loved the I was water. trying to impress you. <laughs> you were discovering your inner lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'd say, you know, I'm one of the pink people. I'm learning to embrace it and just let myself be pink. The brighter my light shines, the more I just glow. <laughs> Let's call it that. And Jim's of the same cloth. He's pink as well. So you really have to respect the sun when you're one of the pink people. Hats and just layers so that, you know, even on the scooters to wear light gloves so that you're not overexposing the back of your hands to the sun. Respect the sun. Anyway, I found this bathing suit of Jim's, and no, it's not a Speedo. I wouldn't do that to any of us, but it's, it's his bathing suit. He was a 44-inch waist, and now I bought him a bathing suit that's 34 to 36-inch waist. Just a regular bathing suit. What a drastic reduction. So I've been asking him, when, I'm, when are we going to get a before and after picture? Because he needs to stand in that 44-inch waist bathing suit and just be amazed. Wouldn't he be impressed with himself? You know, what impressed me first was him showing up with a Vitamixer because that was beyond anything I had acquired. <laughs> and it is an incredible tool to have, a Vitamixer, to give yourself nutrient dense fuel every day every day and it's delicious but then when you start to um, self-discover what's motivating what are you hungry for what are you craving and you start gathering the knowledge of how you know that biscuits and gravy is manifesting itself within your body I'm not about deprivation or sacrifice but I am all about choice and willingness so have, have our vices. I'm going to have a biscuit and gravy. I just am. I'm going to have a shrimp po' boy in New Orleans. I'm going to have a beignet in New Orleans. Is those the, the same beignets month. you get at the Disneyland in New Orleans Square? Uh, it cannot be the same as right there at uh, du Café du Monde. Café du Monde, downtown New Orleans, and uh, Bourbon Street. Anyway, I should know more about New Orleans. I fly in there, get my beignet, you can get them at the airport now, and because it's such a fresh, hot, unique donut, and then mosey on over to Gulf Shores, Alabama, where we're going to uh, experience my clan, the Cox clan, for five days, and what I know is we're going to podcast from there, and uh, we'll just, you know, swap some mosquitoes with you and play some dominoes and have a great experience there in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We gotta go check it out. We haven't been there since the oil spill, so we need to go check that out. Good morning. So, um, you kind of had a personal experience on the internet over the big picture of Young Love After Fifty. So, um, early in your life, um, you were connected with this individual who discovered you on the internet, has has reconnected with you, and and then so much for your spirit. You know, it's a big, it's well, it's a small world after all. And this thing called the internet, it just weaves us together globally. And we can remember that we are one heart, one love. To thy own self be true, all of these decades that I've gone through, it's really brought profound experience. And then with that, you get to choose love and choose life again and again. Huh. So, back in Urbana, Illinois, 1980, <clears throat> huh, two winters I spent in the Midwest, and that was enough, you know. And even the South, as much as I love it, um, I am just in love with the high desert. We just cannot beat this climate that we live in. So anyway, Urbana, Illinois, I was just beginning to practice massage with Dr. Sandra Schwartz. And she was a holist, is a holistic chiropractor. I think she's still there in Urbana, Illinois. Opened my world to vegetarianism, applied kinesiology. She had a fifth generation Korean acupuncturist who uh, was just bringing so much to her center there. And I had the, oh, 
the master's class of being her right hand for three years. And she, because I was thirsty for information, and she was originally a teacher before she was involved in a tragic accident. And it was chiropractic care that helped her to recover her legs again and to be able to walk and, and to reclaim her life. And so she took her education and morphed it into chiropractic. And to this day, I've never seen anyone who's had a wall. Maybe Dr. Yu. Dr. Yu, Shen Nung Clinic in Palmdale, has the same wall of certifications and licenses and higher education. Of I mean, it's just this thirst of knowledge that blows my mind. And that's what Dr. Sandra Schwartz. Um, I stepped into that as a young married woman in 1980. And then I was with her for three years as she helped me to restore my health through my diet. Food is our medicine and medicine is our food. And after three years, I um, dug and I choose to be parents, chose to be parents and I became pregnant, which was an excellent foundation. I had my son Peter uh, when I was 24 and it's a great foundation before I became a mother. And then I knew enough that I wanted to breastfeed and, and just really, I, all of the, my children were born at home and just wanted to experience life in a very natural, confident, secure way, trusting this divine design. Um, so that's how I started. One of my first clients, I built my first massage table, which is a whole different story. And when I was with Dr. Schwartz, I did 12 minutes. It was called spot therapy. I, I developed these killer thumbs. It was 12 minutes of spot therapy within her office. So by the time I was pregnant, I knew that I wanted to be as much of a stay-at-home mom as I could. And I was also fascinated with holistic massage. I then wanted to step in to doing full body massage and holistic healing through the hands. So that's what it offered me. I would offer hour and a half sessions for $15 just there at my home. And Jill Trees, this uh, young dental hygienist, stepped towards it. I've not ever have done any advertising. It's forever has been word of mouth. So she was one of my first clients and we both we're in our very early 20s and just trying to discover the broken parts within ourselves and then connect. I get a phone call last Friday on my office phone number saying in the clearest, strongest voice, Marva, this is Jill McKenzie Trees. I can't believe I found you on YouTube. I've been looking for you. You are still the same Marva that you have always been. And that's what slayed me, because it's not easy to thy own self be true, decade after decade. So she and I have begun this um, uh, deeper heart connection. She's already told me the nuts and bolts of her story. I'm amazed at the eloquence of the people around us, how they can use our words are so powerful. And if we choose them with goodness and kindness and humor, it's just a spoonful of sugar that we all need, the power of our words. So I anticipate this deepening healing, and, um, and I appreciate her inspiration, her inspiring me to be more courageous about my own personal story. Ah, life is worth every tear. <coughs> I love ah. you. <laughs> it's worth every tear. Yes, it is. Well, you know, and that's what we think, what our mission statement is and what we're here for is there's a lot of baby bloomers um, who really are stuck before this process. In other words, for many reasons, whether it be our life choices, um, uh, whether it be... It's some, called the pain body is what it's called. <laughs> the pain body really wants to interfere. Uh, probably so, huh? Yes, we each have a pain body and it's just the wounds that we walk around um, carrying and I have grown into understanding that each of us are ministers and healers good morning uh -huh. to you morning. and that um, we can participate right. in healing one another and that's why but we need to, we have to create this community of, of strong people to, to get through this process because remember no matter what we're hurling through space on a rock 
Isn't that a reality bite? That's the truth, though. I mean, that's and we're all connected. We're all a part of this hurling rock. <laughs> so let's be kind to one another. Loving kindness, compassion. It grows the heart good, the community beautifully. And we discover that we're all good together. There's a sign on Avenue P in Palmdale. I used to pass by it, the little summer camp when I when I spent up in um, East Palmdale, up above, oh, oh gosh, that area. Um, Narcissa, I believe, is the name of the division, the subdivision, but it's above. So I would take Avenue P most every day. And there's a sign there at the Red Cross Clinic, and it says, we are good together. And I would purposely take that route so I could see that sign and remember, we are good together. That's what we want to be. We just want to be good together and uh, love each other the way that we deserve, empower each other, contribute. The essence of the human being is so much bigger than we give it credit for. And recovery is vital to that. You know, it's it do we we become walking wounded, the wounded warrior project, um, the vets, our local vets here that participate in um, helping the walking wounded reclaim their own uh, purpose under great adversity. And why not? Is that a worthy endeavor? <clears throat> Yvette Emmert, Yvette Emmert said that. And what better way to spend a life than to be in service with one another, applauding one another, and recognizing the unique contributions that we get. Thunder on the lots happening this weekend. Yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, um, one of our sponsors, Chris Biker, uh, from AB Floors, um, <coughs> went and did a promotional video, uh, really, uh, for the raffle. Because in this raffle, what they're having... And you don't need to be there to be present to win it. Um, uh, it's, it's an amazing uh, collection of incredible stuff uh, from a motorcycle, and I say a Harley, a soft tail, or whatever it is, and uh, all the way to an, an engine from Rally. But $100 donation goes to 100% of that goes to the children's charities. Charities, charities. The uh -huh. children's charities. There's over 30 charities now that they. Um, spread this money throughout for all the children in our Antelope Valley. And this is how deeply rooted and spiritually uplifting we are as a community. Thunder on the lot, all you hogs. We're a couple of scooters over here. I have a little Honda 50cc, and Jim has an electric scooter. So I don't know that we'll be... We could probably ride those out there, couldn't we, Jim? Depends sure, we could. on how much gear we have to pack, but... That's such a fun way. Maybe Yvette would let us scoot around. Well, I want you to know that um, Yvette took me up with Dawkins' management team, and uh, they've granted us uh, a personal interview video uh, behind the stage before it starts, and we're going to record their first song and bring it to the Animal Valley. Well, how about that? Well, with, that? with that in mind, um, A.B. Nice. Uh, we went out there, Chris went out there, and in the name of Jim Ledford, he, uh, he, he bought a $100 ticket. And... Um, I, I got an email yesterday from um, uh, Yvette, and the email consisted of that uh, they're out there letting everybody know that, that Jim Ledford, who's a great man, um, uh, be great to, to, in his honor, actually buy um, the raffle ticket for him, and if he wins the bike, you know, bang. So here's... Uh, How about that, Jim Ledford? You, too, could be hog riding. That's right. Oh, wait. I will come back. We'll, we'll congratulate Ron Smith after this. Oh, well, you know, Jim Ledford, that's, those catastrophes, those tragedies, it, it's, uh, it's near-death experiences is what that is. And, so, um, and blessed we are when we get to choose life again and recreate a life that's even better suited for you, Jim Ledford. You've been so generous with all of us here in the Antelope Valley, Palmdale specifically. So... By all means, this is your rest and restoration. So be patient with your process. We're all here for you. And I think it should be an epidemic of these donations. $100 donation for the raffle ticket, all in honor of Jim Ledford. Just expressions of gratitude, love, and action. Well, and here we go uh, to Harley Davidson with A.V. Nice, Chris Spiker, uh, Yvette Emard, um, and uh, 
uh, Ronnie Mard, and one of the employees. I don't. I, there's so much going on. I know. Hey, Chris Spiker, Antelope Valley Floors. Thunder on the Lot's coming up. Big event. The whole valley looks forward to it. In fact, we're heading over right now to Harley Davidson here in Lancaster to buy our raffle tickets. Prizes galore. It's amazing. So we're well, going to go buy some tickets. thousand dollars in prizes. At least sixty. That Harley alone is sixty thousand dollars, plus all the other goodies and the trips and the packages that the Ron and Yvette and the crew have put together. We're going over there right now. Chris Spiker, AB Nice. We're over here at the Harley Davidson store with Yvette Emart, Scott Kellerman and big Ron Emart. And we're talking. <laughs> oh, you look great. So we're talking about Thunder on the Lot, and I was watching one of the videos, promotional videos that Yvette made, and I realized there's a big raffle. I wanted to buy a ticket for the raffle, not just for the prizes, but just to be involved with this neat cause. And I'm gonna buy one in honor of our mayor from Palmdale, Jim Ledford. I'm telling a friend of mine, Linda Matz, and she says, oh, I'll give you $100. I wanna buy a ticket for the raffle also. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So I'm over here today buying tickets for the raffle for the big event that is this Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. And Sorry. what's going on over there? Uh, there's a lot going on. Yeah. It's going to be really exciting. If you want to check out all the details, go to thunderonthelot.com. So we've got a lot of great prizes here with our $100 ticket, which is a donation to the kids' charities of the Amla Valley. Tell us about it. Well, We've been doing this now for 18 years. 18 uh, years, wow. Pushing $3 million we donated to local kids' charities. And uh, majority of it comes from this, and it's the community outpour for it. There's eight great prizes on there, one of them being this little beautiful motorcycle right sitting right here. Uh, thank you, Harley Davidson Motor Company. They supplied really? it to us. Really? And, uh, you know, all you uh, are responsible for is tax and license, and you can talk to your white people let you keep it. <laughs> and a helmet. Help it. We can help with that. Scott. Well, we got uh, a few things going on. We got the bike show going on Sunday morning, so it's uh, registration for that 10 o'clock over at the uh, at the fairgrounds. Uh, if you want to go on the poker ride, we'll have registration here for the poker ride starting at 7:30 on Sunday morning. So there's plenty of things to do, uh, bike show wise, and all kinds of events going on at the fairgrounds on Sunday and Saturday night both. Uh, well, Mark Norris and I this morning were out with his crew uh, digging the track for us our first time this year, wow. and uh, our guy Jeff Baird has set the course for drifting. We've got a new big drifting course. We've got some of uh, the Lucas boys coming up. Some drifting's going to go up a notch. Uh, we've got some great bands. Oh yeah, we've got uh, Dawkin, who's uh, one of the 80s hottest hard rock bands uh, as our headliner this year at Thunder. Way one of the Dawkin guys wants to go drifting. already called and asked. Oh, cool. So, uh, but this is for the community. You know, uh, it's community driven, it's sponsored by a number of people in the community and you get there you'll see all of them, some of them will have booths, but uh, they pay for the event so we can donate all the money we raise from the food, etc. Now Art and Skinner is very much a great food thing, it's priced right so you can eat right, etc. And uh, you know, the fair is our host. Uh, we're really happy with that, we got that huge area. It's an amazing event. Off, so. You know, away we go, and 18 years later. So I'm buying in. I want to be involved. Two tickets, please. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank if you, you want to buy another one, you can talk to anybody in town, almost, <laughs> because I've been distributing. But you can come here, you can go to Robertson's, uh, you can go online and find them, or you can ask probably somebody standing next to you, and they're selling them. So anyway, help the kids at the Antelope Valley. $100 donation, and you don't know how far that would go. We'll see you at Thunder on the Lot. Hey, look, we're back here live, and we got Bob Turner. Hello there. Hi, Avon's Furniture. What's going on? Well, uh, I uh, heard you were uh, broadcasting live here at the whole weedery, so I thought I'd get my, my rear end down here and be on, uh, be on the, the Internet for a little bit. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And uh, it, it's neat how fast and rapidly being here, how it's growing. Yeah. Um, so, so, so that's an important feature. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. yeah. This is a great spot to be in too. Well, it, we call this our pharmacy. Yeah, yeah, that's know? right. And we highlight different products that we actually use. Yeah. Uh, um, day in and day out here. 
and it, it's been great. Yeah, we've been coming here for years for all kinds of new things. There's a, a raspberry uh, raspberry uh, extract that uh, we started taking a, a month or so ago. It's excellent with uh, weight control and, uh, and metabolism. And it's, it's one of the good things. Well, good. Come on down. And I like that the specials are up here. What's, what's the Yahoo Burger? What is a Wahoo Burger? Oh, you can talk. Wahoo Burger. <laughs> Yahoo Cog Burger. patty, booyah sauce, lemons, tomato, avocado, and jack cheese served on a whole wheat bun. Excellent. Booyah. 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 Okay, great. Well, thank you. Um, here, I'm going to try to keep this. Oh, you got that. You need that. Okay, if you don't mind, I would like to. Okay, so, um, you recently, uh, yes. right before the engine, which uh, you were a star of, by the way, a lot of feedback. You, you know that, that uh, it's up, uh, the, the interview that you did with... Um, um, John and Bonner? Yes. Yeah. It's up on Amgen. Ah, ah, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and, th and thank you for doing that and, and, and helping promote one of our sponsors. Um, and, and that was really cool. It's going all over the place. That's nice. But fantastic. before that, yeah. Coca Pelli, what is it called? Coca Trail. What the heck did you do? Coca Pelli Trail is a, was a, a three day mountain biking, mountain bike adventure from Fruta, Utah to Moab, uh, pardon me, Fruta, Colorado to Moab, Utah. And uh, we just, it was uh, a group organized by a, a company out of Boulder, Colorado called Biker Pelly. And they put together a couple of trips a year, but when the weather's not too cold and it's not yet too hot in early May. And a group of us uh, left Fruta on Thursday morning and arrived in Moab, Utah on uh, Saturday, late Saturday afternoon. And along the way, it was uh, just a hell of an adventure. Just nothing but uh, beautiful scenery, beautiful red canyons, uh, great friendship, uh, staggeringly steep uh, cliffs that we could ride our bikes off of if we didn't do it right. Did anybody do that? Uh, no, but I I've seen the GoPro fo footage. Oh, I got started. To just, I know. My feet are sweaty just thinking about it. <laughs> there were a couple of spots where where I got off the bike because we were we were coming into a corner that was so close to a just a, a mammoth drop. Right. And I got off and, and walked it, and uh, a, a local guy came up behind me, and he was walking it also. He said, you wouldn't believe how many people ride this and how many people go off that. And it's a deal ender. You you don't go off that and survive it. Well, now, so you, you, you guys are we're, we're, we're top of the class, I mean, really. I mean, not, not professional, but, I mean, you guys knew we, what the heck you were doing. Yeah. We, we, we've done mountain biking for years. I raced mountain bikes for a couple of years, uh, and I know what my limits are, and I know what... Uh, what I can do, what I, what I can't do. And this, of course, expanded those limits a bit, as something like this would. I mean, a person that lives in this environment all the time, if you had a chance to ride these rocks, the trail goes right by these cliffs. Right. And uh, try to bring one of those in. A person that rides that all the time is going to become better at it, and it's going to be nothing for them. But a person that, that shows up and uh, and uh, gets, gets into that can can be in huge trouble well, right now. I, I thought I, they call that airlifting. They airlift people out. <laughs> they yeah. airlift it. Yeah. There was a guy that fell and broke his hip, but there wasn't, uh, and this was a young guy. He, he, you just have the opportunity. The rocks are massive, and you you, know, you just make a wrong turn. You, you fall over in the wrong Okay, place. here you go. I'm going to give you a visual, and you can describe what, what okay. this is like. All right. Boom. Okay, so what the heck is going on? Okay, that is uh, that is day three. Uh, that that face is uh, is Dan Munns of uh, Munns Ranch Road fame here in Lancaster. Really? He's a uh, he's a he works for the city. He's a longtime mountain bike rider and racer. And we're that's day three. We're standing on the Porcupine Trail in the upper section at Moab, Utah. But but you're a long ways off the path. Well, no, the path is right there. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> the path. The path is right where Dan is standing. You come up out of, and this happens every few minutes. You, you know, this trail curves around, and then you find yourself approaching this giant cliff, and the trail curves off the other way. And uh, the drop, I don't even want to think about the drop. <laughs> and, there, you know, apparently there's there's just not very many attorneys that live around here because <laughs> <laughs> there's no fences, there's no signs, there's no place to sign up for help. <laughs> No, that, you're on your own. Did you? No, I saw the mascot too. The mascot, the, the tip jar. 
Yeah. 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 Pretty interesting. Yes. yes. How many folks all together were there? There were ninety in our group, uh -huh. and within the first within the first hour, you know, that 90, 90 people were spread out across miles, and uh, people were coming in, and, and you know, the trail is marked, but not real well marked. So there are people that got lost, like Mike, who got lost. We thought Mike might be dead. But we're talking bike, Mike, <laughs> a, a bicycle, John. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in Santa Clarita. Uh, we all got in, and uh, you know, dinner. We think, well, where's Mike? And uh, so, no, Mike. No, dinner time comes. We eat dinner. We're starting to get dark, and we start. We talk to the people involved in running the thing. We think, you know, there's all kinds of places where you could really get in serious trouble. Airlifted. Airlift. <laughs> Airlift. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, then all of a sudden, Mike and one other guy, they ride in from the opposite direction. So they got lost, made a giant loop, and somehow found us. So a little further than everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, at about three and a half hours and 15 miles. Now, what we've got a shot even of the uh, somebody, at, I don't know who's had, had it, but the uh, the mile poundage, I'm saying 147.98. 100, yeah, 147 miles. But i got to tell you, that's, uh, you know, I'll go out and ride uh, on a Saturday morning. I'll do uh, 50 or 60 miles on the road. Well, that is that is not mountain biking. Let me tell you, the mountain bike experience is so different. By On the first day, between 8.30 and 2 in the afternoon, I had only gone 25 miles, and I'd gone through five bottles of water. I got to the lunch stop, and I couldn't even, I couldn't even begin to eat anything. It was so much work, and it was so hot, and the climbs were so steep and so rocky that it just took everything out of me just to go 25 miles. So it was a lot different pace than on the road. Well, very emotional, uh, also. Yeah, yeah, quite. It's, it's, it really builds, uh, builds bonds, builds uh, friendships uh, beyond anything uh, you'd think possible. People you didn't know when you started, you, you you go through this crucible of heat, and torture, and physical exertion, and you kind of help each other through uh, through slow through you know down times, and you, you know somebody crashes, you pick them up, dust them off. Uh, it it uh, it's, it's it's it was quite an experience. It's community building. Yeah. You know, I say like with my the, the depth of relationship that I have with Shirley over at Panache and Cheryl here at the Whole Feedery and Kathy Beam over at the college, and, and it's from that sweating and moaning, yeah. and you yeah. don't bond when it's all celebratory. Oh, you right. bond when, right. you're, when, yeah. you're, when you're working when it the, down deep. When that's the when pressure's you, on. That's yeah. when you that's really right. can connect. That's where the that's where your true friends are. When you're you, you know, you're out there and you're vulnerable and you crashed or you're bleeding and yeah. or you're terrified and, uh, or, yeah. you, you, or you haven't or you can't, uh, you can't drink any more fluids. So, you know, it was quite, a, quite an event. Now you do carry each other through yeah. and success. Yeah, yeah. We all got out of that. Uh, there, were, there were 10 people from the Bicycle Johns group that Mike had put together out of Santa Clarita. 10 people that didn't know each other. And uh, we set up camp every night. Uh, we kind of put our tents in a little, little circle. And uh, before, you know, by by 7:30, we were hoping to pass out by 8. But we we, you know, we managed to hang in and uh, get to know each other pretty well. Awesome. Yeah, it's quite an event. Yeah. So once a year. It's once a day, once a year. Yeah. Uh, it's in May. Can't sign up till January. So I got till January to decide if I can do it again next year or if I skip a year. So what took more out of you? That that. They call in need more furniture. We need more furniture. Yeah. Evans needs more furniture. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of furniture, yeah. different subject. Thank you so much. Uh, the mattresses oh. are amazing. Good, good, good. I'm so glad you like them. So glad. It's it's amazing, and and the crew was great. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah. I stepped over the balance to call you. And oh the, no. He's he standing. Right. Nobody's listening to me, right? He's standing there with like, hey, the paper right here. You wanna, <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, that's the sign of a true professional. They make it look easy. Yeah. And then the people that you surround yourself with. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's been there for about 30 years. And uh, knows exactly how to, you know, he you know, knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah, they were in and out. They even yeah. took our matches out of the house with us. Good, good, good. Probably shouldn't say that. And then we had the large item pack that. picked up yesterday. Yeah, they picked it up yesterday. Good, yeah, good, they good. were just above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, I'm glad you like it. That's the best part. Well, last night was the best night's sleep I've had. In a long, long time. Good. It, it, it is. It's, it's we're earlier to bed and earlier to rise, and it's that it's feeling restored the next day. Yeah. 
you know, that's what I've concluded is rest is the first four letters and restoration. Yeah, that's right. Need your rest. That's right. That was another thing about this this mountain bike trip is, uh, you know, at the end of the day, thank God you can you, you could rest. And uh, by the you know, you didn't think you could go another half mile. So it's not like your regular. You're it's not like your regular uh, camp out where you're going to drink by the fire and have some extra you know, s'mores. No, this was eat eat something in high in carb and pass out. Get ready for the next day. Wow. Now at the end of it, yeah. was there the thing they talked about, Mike? That the um, the bikes got in the cage. Yeah. The balance thing. They did. And, so uh, so is it, and this we'll call this a trial. Yeah, you, it's like trials where you're. The idea is there were twenty or thirty guys, twenty thirty well men and women, that were, it was it was all for fun and it was it was nothing to it. No contact and you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to see who can uh, who can you know stand on the bike uh, without putting his foot down the longest. Mike did real well. I think he won uh, he won a couple of uh, of rounds. I didn't even start because I can only stand my bike stop for as long as it takes me to hit the ground. <laughs> Which is probably not, but in your mind, it could be slow motion. It could be. It could be longer than I think. But I think it's it's gravity, and that's pretty quick. Yep. But there, there are some people that can do that a long time. Aww. It was pretty exciting. To Talking about some inner balance, huh? Yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. A lot of practice for that. That's what mountain biking is, is a lot of balance. It's not speed, it's finesse and touch. And, uh, well, I'm so glad he came out of the forest. Yeah. You know, yeah. that had to be a, you know, like, oh, my God. Yeah, we like, thought not airlift. Turn. Yeah. Airlift, see? <laughs> airlift, that's what I would be thinking. Yeah, airlift. Yeah. And it feels pretty, you know, any cell phone service or anything like that? Well, uh, the first night there was some, but that was it. Then it was gone. Mm -hmm. and it was, it was kind of nice being remote enough that there was no cell phone opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> no way to check email. No way to check it. What a great getaway. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we experience out at Death Valley is yeah. we get unplugged from all of that. And right. So that is so restored. All by itself, even though you're sweating and your gut's out, yeah. it still is clearing out all those distractions. Yes, that's nice. That's nice. So, after you come back, yeah. you jump right into to, to Amgen and, right. and some incredible moments you captured. Yeah, that was, um, um, that was, uh, that was one of my... You know, I couldn't have I couldn't have dreamed for that to go any better. <laughs> to be able to talk to those those professionals, to see the equipment, to talk to John Lebotters, I mean, a, a, literally one of the few people, the, one of the top people in the entire world, in, in the world of my sport, cycling, uh, cycling. That that you trust and look up to. I mean, yeah, really. and yeah, he's not a slime ball. He's he's the guy. He's a, he's a real legitimate guy that's trying to do it right. And it was uh, it was couldn't have been better. Well. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're getting ready to leave, and um, Marva, uh, Jim Ledford saw us, called us over. He's right. familiar with our work, and had an interview with Marva. Uh -huh. Marva did this at the end, and the next thing we knew, we got a heart attack in the hospital. So I don't want to say she was involved. <laughs> yeah. That's but. just all shades of wrong right there, Jim. <laughs> God bless you, Jim. Hope you get better. Should I have worn my foil hat? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe. Now... Uh, today, it's electrifying. <laughs> today we have an opportunity. We're going to make a video. Right. We're gonna, maybe three. Maybe I, I know I can. What, so tell me, this is how weird the internet is. Yeah. So you're in you're in Google Docs. Right. And you're creating. Right. Your your content. And I click share, and I thought I was done, and I click share and hit Jim Greenleaf and hit hit done, and then I had some more ideas. So I think I'll go back into the document. I'm typing more. And I'm typing more. And all of a sudden. See a little tab that says Jim Greenleaf, and all of a sudden there's verbiage, text in my in my ad copy from Jim Greenleaf. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> pretty incredible. Yeah, that's how neat that the internet is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now we're reconnecting, but it's it's weird. You really don't know when you throw up there what 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 lands, what goes, what it yeah. does. It, it's but the more you do, the better it is. Right. Did you like that uh, that email I sent you about what's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah. I want to uh, make sure that I'm uh, you know getting all that I can out of that. Right, right. Because yeah. it's ever changing. Yeah. You know, and it really is. Yeah. Uh, but well, and Remax right. All Pro understands that too, because Paige was a first responder Excellent. for to that a that email because it makes sense. You know, if you just start stepping towards it, then it kind of sort of it's the most uncontrollable, invigorating. You know, discovery yeah. out there, and it's the not knowing, and then just getting staying in your life. Mm -hmm. Well, and knowing also that it's ever changing, and yeah. it changes daily. Yeah, um, uh, that certainly is true. And so, so it was neat though. Uh, you responded. You want to do it? Um, uh, uh, Remax wants to do it. 
uh, and, and uh, JG, Clancy JG. Let me tell you about Clancy JG. He, this one guy, the one guy, half of it, was the head of NASA out here, retired. His job was to make sure the contracts, the bidding, everything's done correctly. Right. Pretty smart man. Yeah. His partner um, was the head of the FAA of the Western Region when he retired. Well, they came up with this idea that they wanted to take, because they're forcing FAA people to retire early I because see. of stress and stuff. Well, still, there's a huge civilian need for these people. So, so they came up and found this, this uh, small business, um, uh, a, a SBD CB675, whatever it is. And um, uh, it, it is a, a way to be a small business without having to go through the bidding process for government contracts. I see. So they started doing that. And when, when we first started with them, um, they had no presence at all on the Internet. Um, and so I suggested, you know, I don't believe the federal government is doing, is doing uh, social networks. I just don't think they're doing it. That's true. So let's see if that .com, that SBDC, but ever that .com is available. Jim, it's not going to deliver. Well, let's go see. So we did. Sure enough, it was. So uh -huh. now what's happened is, there, and, and this is really important to both the, the, the employer and the employee to join together because you have to go through that process to become part of this. Right. Um, so when you put that in now, first thing that comes up is, is them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, and we, we do a lot of posters, we do a lot of stuff, um, uh, doing all the stuff for them. Um, and they get a call three weeks ago, about a month ago, from the Air National Guard, wanting them to bid on this. There's what, what's happening now in the world is drones are going to the right. Right. In, in in that with that the the, the airspace. Is what they're thinking about is the problem, especially private around sector. yeah, Isn't it private yeah, sector? around military installations. So they, they said, once you could bid this, we are going to have some of your FFA people um, stationed at several different locations, and all they're going to do is worry about the drones. I see. Right? Give us a bid. So they did. They accepted the bid, and then they wanted they wanted seven more. They accepted the bid anyway, and they say they say it's like I can say this: the contracts were forty million dollars. And they asked them, how did you discover us? Well, you're the first thing on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't, the, the federal government doesn't have an internet presence like that. No, they don't. But they went looking on the internet yeah. for the solution to their problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not, you know, because, you know, what, what you do could be held against you. Uh, but you got to realize that that information sharing is so important. Yeah. On so many levels. That's and that's true. what we do. Yeah. Well, and so then let's applaud Ron Smith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Ron. Because that private and public sector bridge is very critical on all levels, and that's what you know, Lancaster Boulevard has done with, uh, with our well, AB, local government. Well, AB Media uh, came in and produced. Did you see that? I saw it, yeah. Pretty very good, nice, huh? Very it was, nice. Yeah. Done on film. My daughter. You can sure tell the difference. It's my, my daughter production company. Oh, that's great. And it wasn't film. It's that new special camera. It's a really? video camera. It, it, it's a... Um, Seven series um, uh, Canon that the industry now is using across the boards. Ready for this? It costs fifteen hundred dollars. Really? Yes, and they're using it for all commercials, everything. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, like, I, I'm, I I'm gonna get one. I expect you to say forty-five thousand. I know, I know. No, it's not the red. It's, it's, it's just this little camera, and it looks like a like like a, a clicker camera, really. But but the depth and what it can do. And oh, it looked completely. Wasn't that great with the depth of that? Completely clear. Well, when all said and done, we had a special um, a special gathering of, of the whole contingency of, of, of Smith because I did that for him, and uh, they it was so close. The race was so close that they're saying that the reason why and they played it by the way 320 times uh, in 10 days on cable uh -huh. um, that that could have been the one thing that put them over the top. Yeah. So that makes it good. Well, that is good. That is good. Yeah. I know. I saw the spot several times. Yeah, we. I saw it on on. on Regional baseball. I saw it on, on NASCAR. I saw it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good stuff. But that's uh, that's what we do. We're crossing over, bring up the whole community, and uh, there's good. so many ways to do it. All right. Well, today we're doing our thing at one o'clock. Yep. And, uh, yep. And we're getting. See, we started about five minutes uh, late. Okay. So we're gonna go another couple minutes if you want. And, sure. Uh, okay. So, anything we missed today? Not a thing. We are whole and complete, aren't we? That's right. Mm -hmm. Anything Fully you want to say? So we're shooting the commercial day for what? We're going to shoot um, a commercial for the, uh, the summer sale. We're going to shoot a summer clearance sale. And we're going to shoot 4th of July. Wow. Yeah. 
Wouldn't there be fireworks in the back? Uh, if we yeah, can, that's you up seen, to you. Do, do you have these visions, though? Do you have, do you, have, do you, have you know, because we're green screening them. I know. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, what I have mostly a vision of is is me getting getting the, the copyright, not looking like an idiot, and then you going crazy and putting all the special stuff in it. Are we going to do the same thing? We're going to do intro, have you walk off so you can yeah. come back. Yeah, good. Things good, like that. Good trick. Good trick. Good trick. By the way, yeah. you're doing really good. Thank you. Okay. And so is our community, and uh, we're going to thank Local Living. Uh, great deals, great specials. Check them out, localliving.com. Didn't you get one? What, 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 what did you just get? Oh, I'm still connecting with Hendrix Music. Their deal is no longer available, but that's, uh, that's on the horizon for me and mine. And then I also scored a, a stone massage, a one-hour stone massage from Salon Mingle. And that's what I love to do is just to go out and investigate. A stone massage? It's a hot what stone they, massage. They, they, they slightly throw at you? <laughs> They yeah. boil them stones. <laughs> you know, when I was in high school, I did the play the lottery. And that's they stone you. Oh, I can't be good. It's really hard. Yeah. No, there's no there's no throwing of stones. One, one night only. <laughs> one night only. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Leave a note. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, huh. Well, it's a way of enhancing a massage to use hot rocks, hot stones. And, <clears throat> and it retains heat really well, and then you're trained to, to place them for the optimum healing experience. And I just know the best investment is me with me. That's Everything good. else rolls behind that, doesn't it, Bob? Yeah. Well, good. Okay, so right. everybody, thanks for being here. We want to thank uh, Avon's Furniture, uh, uh, um, uh, reporter uh, Bob Turner. Oh, thank you. Anything bikes, we That's can right. use you, huh? Can we go somewhere now? Can we go to the tour? <laughs> <laughs> France? <laughs> Isn't it coming up? Tour to France, June 30th. And what about the Olympics? When do we go? Yeah. Oh, the Olympics, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no, teasing. Yeah, te yeah that's coming up. But tour is the deal. Yeah, the tour is the deal. That's only you have, that's, the next, that's the next step, isn't it? You go to tour, the, they would let you the tour. Let you interview them and talk oh, to them. Oh, if I could go to the tour. That would be so cool. Aww, well, you know. Let's put that out there. And so it is. If we had a sponsor that would pay for it, uh, Avens, we're here with you. <laughs> I'll get your credentials. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for being part of the show. See you next Thursday, 9.30 to 10.30 on this same Bat Time, Bat Channel, um, 9.30 to 10.30, um, and all over the world at specific standard time. So come here, be part of it, and uh, we'll see you uh, next week.